You're watching KSL 5 News. A truck driving dangerously through the neighborhood and an argument in the streets. And now new surveillance video is shedding light on the days leading up to the double murder in Sandy. New specialist Lad Egan is live in Sandy with more on the investigation. Lad? Yeah, neighbors tell me they called 911 multiple times well before the shooting because of a truck making U-turns and driving dangerously here in the streets as children were walking home from school. And then I'm hearing about an argument in the streets. And also, neighbors pointed me to some surveillance video at a nearby beauty salon. When we found out that it was ma'am, it's just so sad because we love her. The neighborhood nail salon shows us this surveillance video from four days before the shooting. She came with her son and then he came after that. Employees say Memory Rackley was a regular customer, normally happy. But on this day, Jeremy Patterson showed up making her uncomfortable. She act like she just want to get it done and out. Uh, she wasn't happy. As far as um, how they know each other, we're still not releasing at this point. We're also learning today that minutes before the shooting, Patterson got out of his truck and confronted Rackley as she walked her kids home from school and that that caught the attention of a good Samaritan driving down the road. She observed Memory and Jeremy having what appeared to be a verbal argument, but she stopped to render assistance. Neighbors say the situation stopped traffic as Rackley tried to get her kindergartner and fifth grader in the car. I saw her run across the street to go jump into the car. And as she ran across the street, the guy um, followed her across and tried to pull her out of the car. And she kind of swatted him off, pushed him away from her, and got in the car and hurried and shut the door. Police had kind words for the Good Samaritan, who put herself in danger, even though she had her children with her. She helped a lot. Um, I know that this is a tough situation, and there's going to be a lot of healing involved. But this could have been much worse. Those who watched the argument here in the street say that Patterson appeared consumed with rage. Their concern at the time was that he would maybe run over a child with his truck. They never imagined that this would end with a shooting. Deanie, I do have some good news to pass along tonight. Just heard from the family at the hospital that 11-year-old Miles, who was shot in the neck, is improving, and they hope to have him breathing on his own sometime this evening. So some good news there. Uh, that is about the only good news in this. Uh, thank you, lad. Top lawmaker.